Okay, we've got the heat exchangers back from the radiator shop. They tested them, uh, cleaned them up a little bit. They tested fine, so we're ready to put them back in. I have a gasket kit here from Seaboard Marine. Uh, two bolts and new zinc. We'll take this old zinc out, put a new one in before we put the heat exchanger back on. We're gonna remove the zinc. It's a 22 millimeter. You can see this old one here has some life left, but it's a good time to replace it. We're gonna put some thread sealant on this one. All right, I'm gonna put the cap back on. Have a new gasket in here. A little bit of grease on the bolt. All right, so we're ready to put the heat exchanger back in. I got a new 90 degree hose on here. I've done the starboard heat exchanger already. And while we're sliding the heat exchanger on, we have to slide this new hose in. Um, it's very difficult to um, get this hose on or this hose that's replaced while the heat exchanger was already mounted. So we'll slide the new heat exchanger in. Uh, while we're doing that, we'll slide this new hose on and get it all mounted up. hose is put on. I'll go through and I'll put the mounting bolts um, back in here and then we'll reconnect the rest of the hoses. To leave these bolts loose, we need to install the exhaust hose still, and it's much easier if we can move that heat exchanger. Okay, I have the heat exchanger side of the new hose on, and now I'll get it to the muffler can here. Um, you may have a different setup, different style uh, exhaust can here. All right, I got new, new top hoses on. I got all the bolts in the clamps, or the mounts, I guess, for the heat exchanger. Got the exhaust connected. I'm still gonna need to do these two uh, bottom hoses. But for now, I'll get the top all tightened up, heat exchanger in place where it goes, and then I'll move below and get those bottom hoses. All right, so we're down below now. We got our coolant hose here to hook up, raw water hose to the gear oil cooler to hook up.
All right, we got the heat exchanger put back on. So we'll have to refill the coolant. Uh, I'm going to use this ES Complete uh, by Fleet Guard. That's what was in it already. Um, comes in two different styles of 50 50 pre diluted and concentrated. So we'll get started here. We'll take the radiator cap off. Got a funnel here to put into it. And we have to make sure this valve here is open to let any air escape out. Start off with the jug of uh, pre diluted. All right, we uh, filled the coolant reservoir up uh, until it started bleeding out of this heat valve here. We closed it down, filled the tank the rest of the way up. So that's how I was able to uh, take our heat exchanger off, clean it, put it back on with all new hoses. Here's the down below, two new hoses. New gaskets in the end of the heat exchanger. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. Thanks a lot.